Kimmy told everyone he was in monk mode. No distractions, no friends, full focus. But after six months, no progress, no projects, no job offers. Just an endless cycle of motivational videos and fake productivity. Meanwhile, Peter also disappeared, but not to watch YouTube all day. Instead, he built one small AI project a week. He studied for just two hours a day, but every session stacked like compound interest. And now, he's unrecognizable. Timmy disappeared and came back the same. Peter disappeared and came back successful. Which one are you choosing? Be honest, how many times have you tried to learn AI, started strong, but fallen off after a few weeks? You think you need to grind nonstop, but that's why you're failing. Instead, here's the efficient way. Just two focused hours a day. That can make you unrecognizable within six months. My name's Dev and I studied computer science at Georgia Tech. When I graduated, I landed multiple offers at top tech companies. Over the past year, I've worked with creators like Neatcode and 3Blue and Brown, and this channel is about becoming more like Peter and less like Timmy. Okay, without further ado, there are three rules for monk mode. Follow these three for six straight months and your life will change. Rule number one is that there are no rules. Most people waste months debating whether they should start with theory or application. Do I need to understand every paper before I build? Should I learn PyTorch or TensorFlow? None of that matters. Peter didn't waste time overthinking, he just built. Some weeks he re-implemented papers to understand the math. Other weeks he fine-tuned LLMs and built practical applications like RAG. Timmy, on the other hand, he spent hours watching roadmap videos, searching for the perfect learning learning path, but he never actually got started. The truth is, both theory and application are important. But when you're just starting, the only thing that matters is consistency. Pick something, anything, and just start building. Because six months from now, no one's gonna care how optimized your roadmap was. They just care about what you've built. The two hour rule. You don't need 12 hour grind sessions. You don't need to quit your day job or drop out of college. You just need two hours of deep work every day. Timmy thought he had to study AI all day to make progress, but because he was always working, he was never actually working. His 12 hour days were filled with distractions, checking discord, scrolling Twitter, and switching between five different tutorials. Peter, on the other hand, locked in for just two hours a day. No distractions, no waste time. And those two hours, they compounded. Two hours a day for six months is over 360 hours of focus study. That's enough to master the fundamentals, build projects, and land real opportunities. Sounds corny, but it's not about working more, it's about working better. And the best part, you'll still have time to actually live your life. This is the exact approach I used when I was first getting into ML, and if I had to start over, I would do the exact same thing again. The two hour rule let me enjoy college and make amazing memories with my friends. I even developed a poker addiction in the process, but that's a story for another time. Rule number three is that every aspect of your life matters. A lot of people think they need to sacrifice everything, fitness, relationships, and even basic social skills until they make it. They tell themselves, I'll get in shape after I land a job. I'll start dating once I'm successful. I'll fix my sleep and diet after I finish this exam. But here's the truth, you ignore your health and relationships now, you'll struggle to rebuild them later. Peter didn't just disappear into the world of grinding AI. He trained his mind and his body. He made time for fitness, socializing, and actual life experiences. Because success isn't just about getting good at machine learning. A strong body gives you more energy to focus. A strong social circle gives you more opportunities. And both keep you sane while you're grinding. Timmy, on the other hand, stayed locked in his room, skipping workouts, ignoring friends, and convincing himself that he was on the right path. But when he finally made it, he was miserable. No confidence, no health, no life outside work. So don't wait. I know it sounds corny, but success isn't a destination, it's a process. And that process should include staying fit, building relationships, and actually enjoying life along the way. Because in six months, you don't just wanna have an AI portfolio. You wanna be unrecognizable in every way. Next, check out my video on how to get ahead of 99% of machine learning students. I reveal the exact projects I built and how they strengthen your resume. If you wanna get ahead, that's the video for you. And as always, don't be a TensorFlow Timmy.